I even shocked the country with the grasp of Queen's language, with that clear thought process, Madam Speaker. I thought that was the observation, Madam Speaker. Another nominee that impressed me was the former MP of Garissa Town, Aden Duale, Madam Speaker. I was happy with his honest. He said he doesn't receive phone calls because members of parliament are corrupt. Anyway, the chair did not decide to correct, so it is unanswered. Minister Duale was an honest man. He said he does not receive our phone calls as members of parliament because we are corrupt, Madam Speaker. But no one corrected. It is unanswered. We can print it and bring it here, Madam Speaker. So we need all Even uh, Madam Speaker Eric Muredi that was having is what 30, 30, 30, 32 million. I want to agree and challenge the GNC that Eric Muredi, Madam Speaker, if approved, will be a no, will be a bag of money. He's only 32 million worth. He doesn't have a car. He's a young man with a vision that should encourage, Madam Speaker, the, how we perform as a country. We should believe in the people that we have, Madam Speaker. So even as we did vetting, and I'm proposing this, Madam Speaker, going into the future. Can you direct when our committee does vetting, like finance and budget? I have noticed in our committee rooms, Madam Speaker, there is no video recording. It is only answered. I wish and I request, and I wish the commissioners or the commissioner is here, at least every committee room should have a video recording so that we have the answer and video recording so that some of us, Madam Speaker, some of these vi uh, videos that are being vetted, Madam Speaker, can have opportunity to be able to go through, Madam Speaker. So the exercise that has been carried, we hope when the report will be tabled, I think, Madam Speaker, uh, going into the future, let us ensure the track record, the capacity and ability, Madam Speaker, uh, goes into the future, Madam Speaker. So we, we, we believe the vetting that was being done, and I want to request, Madam Speaker, I don't know how your office will look, I want to request the way we saw vetting in National Assembly with cabinet nominees. I don't know, we should have structured questions to be used in vetting, like the way the Finance and Budget Committee, Senator Kalwale is here, should tell us what would happen, Madam Speaker. Because the questions that were being asked, Madam Speaker, some are embarrassing. Some were supposed to juxtapose, Madam Speaker. Let us ensure, even as we wait for the report, and I hope we'll get the report from the National Assembly when they table it on Wednesday or Thursday, Madam Speaker. That report, we should get it and ensure that it comes to place. Of course, Madam Speaker, I wouldn't have comments on the <laughs> nominee of sports because that is transferring incompetence from roads to sports. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, going into the future, we must agree under Article 230 on SRC uh, that let us Chiradige, approve. Senator Chiradige, I had given a direction regarding commenting on a process which has not been completed by the other house. I give that direction to Senator Gloria, and it should have clearly informed your debate. It seems not to have been informed by that, yeah. and I now guide you not to touch that process Ma Madam until Speaker? it's determined yes. and a report done by the other house, because Madam the integrity of that house is equally protected as the integrity the process they are doing is equally protected just like the process is being done by this house so please withdraw that M M madam speaker there is what we call fair comment in the fair administration process and i'm just making a general comment i have not mentioned anybody's name unless you know that person have i i have not uh, the nominee is clearly known uh, senator Chirari. i uh, madam speaker every, i think the standing every orders every member would uh, take judicial notice of who the nominee in respect of the ministry of sport is so it is safest to do what senator gloria did uh, leave that process until it begs
to respond to it. And since they are not, and the report is not yet out, if the report was out and a verdict has already been rendered by the panel on the other house, then it would be easy to debate and it would be easy to accept as a public record once the report is out. So I, I still guide that uh, since they cannot defend themselves, we allow the National Assembly to complete the process while we await the report. We will still have a chance to debate that report. I believe that. Thank you. You can finish, Senator Chira. Madam Speaker, I, I want to wish well the two candidates. I know the law says the president will appoint one. And uh, the committee, of course, we hope to see those SRC members before this committee. Madam Speaker, but to support and ask the House to support and ask the SRC. If one of them, because there are two, if either of them succeeds, Madam Speaker, they should assist the country in advising on the issue.